Why did you decide to take this test? Uh, to check how gay I am, to make sure that I'm straight, just to have fun. Sometimes I have fantasies about the same sex. Uh, I'm going to do to make sure that I'm straight. What if I click, what if I click this one and <laughs> it like automatically tells me I'm gay? Oh, just to make sure I'm straight. That means you're gay. Uh, just to have fun. Okay. Have you ever looked at a person of the same sex and felt attracted in a sexual way? I don't really know what that means though, man. Yes, all my crushes are the same sex. No, that's not me. Sometimes I have a crush on the opposite sex. Never, I'm not gay at all. Very rarely, but there are some moments when I really like someone of the same sex sex did pp get hard i don't i don't know how to describe like i'll see someone like and know that they're like an attractive dude i, I don't know if i've had like a like a legit sexual fantasy about the same sex think about connor well my my heart just flutters when i think about connor i don't you know just in like a friendly way i don't think that's like a yeah infatuation is, is not necessarily the same oh. as sexual attraction yeah exactly that's kind of where i'm at where it's like I'll, I'll see a dude or whatever and be like oh you know he's a really attractive guy and i don't mind like looking at him you know what i mean that means he's gay <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would say very rarely, but there are moments where I really like someone of the same sex. I mean, yeah, I think that's fair. I really liked someone of the same sex. That doesn't mean in a sexual way. Okay. Oh, God. If your best friend confessed to you that he is gay, you would feel delighted and welcome him or her to the club. <laughs> well, get excited and start flirting with him or her. Make a joke about it. Tell him or her that sometimes you feel attracted to the same sex too. I wouldn't start flirting with them. No, no shot. That's not that. I don't feel like that's the time to do that, right? Tell him or her that sometimes you feel attracted to the same sex too. I'd probably make a joke about it. It, to be honest uh Ethel, there's something i want to get off my chest yeah what is it man all of these are gay i don't i wouldn't flirt with them i wouldn't say welcome to the club either that doesn't seem right also let me make this bigger sorry guys i, I wouldn't be like yo welcome to the club tell him or her that sometimes you feel attracted to the same sex too i'll probably just make a joke i don't know man i'll just be like yo that's great for you i wouldn't even make a joke i would just be like dude that's cool and I, have you ever worn or fantasized about wearing clothes of another sex uh i would yeah yeah i would wear a dress I don't think that means I'm fucking gay, though. Neander's cosplay? All right, yeah. Really, but sometimes I may wear my partner's clothes outside. I'm literally wearing my girlfriend's shirt right now, okay? How gay am I? How frequent are your same-sex sexual fantasies or dreams? All of my dreams are about same-sex. Most of the time, never, rarely. I don't sexual fantasies. I mean, I've had fucked up weird dreams where I, like, yeah. But in, like, day-to-day -day fantasies, I've never fantasized about it. I've had some weird fucked up dreams where, like, I mean, I fucked a, a tractor before in my dreams. I, so I, I'll go rarely, I guess. Yeah, I fucked a tractor. I, 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 I fucked... I, I fucked an asteroid one time in one of my dreams. So if you think that in, in all of that, that I haven't fucked a man, at least one of those times, you're out of your goddamn mind. I'll go rarely. If there were no people left in the world, except for someone of the same sex, you would be happy as no one would ever flirt my man or woman. That is fucking crazy. That is actually crazy. Be disappointed that you are losing out on the other sex. Fall into despair as you will never have a sexual partner again. Um, be disappointed that you are losing out on the other sex. What does that mean? In the world, except for someone of the same sex, you would be these are all straight answers right these last two are straight fall into despair as you will never have a sexual partner again i don't mm, be disappointed that you're losing out on the other sex i mean i'd like a you know i'd like a woman there to balance things out i don't know these are weird answers be happy as no one would ever flirt no i, I don't think uh fall into despair i don't think i'd be, be disappointed i guess have you ever kissed someone of the same sex yeah, yeah I've, I've kissed a man before not like in a weird way not that that's weird it was consensual it was just like a, a, a little peck you know like hey no way am I ever doing that? I love kissing people regardless of their sex. I, I would say that's true. I don't mind. Dude, I mean, my, my family grew up in Europe. I don't mind like kissing, like kissing on the cheek or whatever, like, or kissing my dad. I, I don't think that's weird. I don't think that's weird. Now making out, if it was like making out, that, that'd be different. If your partner offered you a threesome with someone of the same sex, no shot. Absolutely no, sir. no shot. No shot. I would not participate in the devil's threesome. I would not. I would feel so awkward. I wouldn't know what to do with my eyes. I wouldn't know what to do with my hands. Nothing to do with the other guy. It's just like, dude, it's awkward, bro. Normal sex is like already like uh, its own thing. I'm not, I'm not throwing in another fucking guy in there. Hell no. So weird. It'd be so awkward. What do you say? What do you say if you're like balls touch or something? Do I look at him? Do I look at his penis? Is it rude if I don't look at his penis? How much do I talk? When I'm, when I'm finished, do I say your turn? Like, what do I say after I've pleasured myself and in, in, in the partner? Do I, hey man, you're up. Do I wish him luck? Give it your best. Good luck out there. Oh. What do I say? Pass, tag, you're it. <laughs> hey man, you're up. Good luck, tiger. Just slap him on the ass and just sit in a... Slap him on the ass and sit in the recliner. Just... <sighs> just watching like this. I think it's more awkward if I'm drinking a Diet Coke. <laughs> yeah. 
Ja, 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 ja. It doesn't sound too bad. Do it as I don't care about the sex of another person. Be confused, but I would probably do it. Feeling excited about it, bring it on. I think no. No shot. Me and Yan are, are both pretty like traditional, I'd say, in this regard. There's no shot we would do that. No way. So awkward. Would you be comfortable with a gay colleague flirting with you at work? Oh, I don't give a shit about this. I don't care if guys or girls flirt with me. I I, I don't care. You don't like no one flirting with you? Yeah, I, th I think that's fair, bro. Like, I don't think you have to like people flirting with you. It can be awkward, but I kind of got used to it. I, I worked in a pretty like predominantly like gay area of chicago uh, and i worked at a gym so like it just kind of came with it and everyone was respectful i mean occasionally there'd be a weird person i mean it can happen guys girls whatever it, you know it's not it's not just one one sex or whatever it can uh it can be weird but uh for the most part if it's playful like i don't know at work i don't like it oh you know yeah i guess this is at work hold up i i, I read this kind of wrong comfortable with a gay colleague flirting with you at work i don't think you should flirt at work whether it's gay or straight i don't know flirt at work can be kind of cringe oh i didn't think about that yeah that can be kind of cringe i would you know i had a okay i'll say this i had a i had a gay boss at my gym super nice guy super nice guy i i really liked him he was really cool he he would flirt with me from time to time but he did it in a way that was like kind of funny and harmless i don't i don't want to how can i explain this it was more just funny I, I i don't know like jokes yeah it would be like okay for example and you can disagree with me uh, but it, it didn't weird me out just because I don't know we had a rapport so it was more like playful but harmless yeah so for example we had like a uh, like a street fair going on in front of the gym you know there was stalls there was like food you know they, they do that in Chicago a lot right and we had just a little ass grab it no I, I would I would legitimately like I would slap someone in the fucking face if they touched me uh, let's get that out of the way that's that's not the same not even close I, I would I would bitch slap someone straight up probably I, I probably wouldn't like fight someone but like I would I would like push him back yeah I don't think that's that's ever right but I'll, I'll paint the scene for you so there was a street fair going on right and we were supposed to hand out flyer right to get people to come to the gym okay hey here's a flyer you know come by the gym my boss said to me he was like oh like Ethel if if you were to go give out flyers I'm sure we'd have a lot more people like coming in so it's like a flirty like kind of like to me that's harmless like that's I don't know you know what I'm saying I don't think it's that weird that's just a compliment yeah yeah, yeah. it's it's, it's kind of you know it's kind of flirty it's I don't know yeah so I just I always took that as a compliment like oh you know that's really sweet thanks man uh but then he said that i should i was like oh yeah that's a good idea and then he said yeah we should oil you up uh and take you uh uh with some like bands out and work out in front of the gym <laughs> It went like this. He was like, "Oh yeah, you know, it go. I think we'd get a lot of a uh, lot of new members if if you were handing out the flyers." I was like, "Oh yeah, that's a good idea." He was like, "Yeah, we should get you oiled up and working out in front of the gym to attract members." <laughs> that was probably like a little bit too far, but I think with our relationship at that point, it wasn't a huge deal. You know what I'm saying? He he was just kind of like an older older like older bro kind of thing. I don't know how to describe it. I didn't feel weirded out. I think it's a context kind of thing. Like, what's your relationship at that point? Have you joked around about that stuff before? I don't know. It's it's a, it's a weird thing to, to flirt at work, but it didn't bother me. It, it, it really didn't. Yeah, it's a, it's a bodybuilder joke. Yeah. Hold up, sweaty man outside the gym. <laughs> yeah. So I laughed. I thought it was funny. So for me, I don't really give a shit, man, to be honest. I would feel very awkward about it. It's never appropriate to flirt at work. Uh, although I think this is true, I think it can be, oh, I don't know. That's a tough call. That's a tough call. I would say this. I guess so. It depends on the situation. I'd say this. Yeah, I think that's fair. I think that's fair. Your friend decided to go to a party at a gay bar. You would feel like you're going home. Let's go party. I don't know. <laughs> these are like trying to get me you know feel like i'm going home get excited to check out a new venue feel threatened or uncomfortable get secretly excited as you've always wanted to check out a gay bar dude a uh, hundred percent get excited to check out a new venue if you're straight gay bars are infinitely more fun than unless you're like going to a bar to like get laid or whatever as a straight guy or or, or or whatever unless you're like that's why you're going to a club which i think is like gonna be lame uh to begin with i like to go to clubs i've talked about this a million times i like to go to clubs to have a nice drink and fucking dance man i love I love music. I love live music. I love to dance, wiggle my body, throw back a few with the bros and listen to music all night. And there's no better place than a gay bar. I'll say that right now. I I've been to a bunch with my brother. Always fun as fuck. If you're into good music and good drinks and just letting loose dude but gay bars are awesome so much fun yeah i've i've never had a bad time at a gay bar i want to say i've probably i've probably been to like quite a few in chicago unironically you find a ton of straight women at gay bars yeah and that's the thing is gay bars is not just it's not just a bunch of like you know it's not just a bunch of gay dudes like everybody's there bro like there's straight people there's there's guys girls and bees like you know everyone's there man it's not it's not some weird weird uh taboo place it's fun man you should go a lot of fun a lot of fucking fun
What the fuck, man? Hey, 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 hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. Jesus, man. What the fuck? Jesus Christ, dude. What? 39% straight? What? It's not gay. It's bi. It's only half gay. Oh, so wait, what do we do? We, we split this in half? Does divide this by half? Uh, 30%. 30%. I'm 30% gay. That means you're half gay. <laughs> That means you're 30% gay. I, okay, I don't know if this test was good, man. I don't think this test was that good. Right, guys? 30% gay. Who makes it gay? Jesus, man. Some of these, some of these questions were weird. Some of these questions really were, there was like no way out. Let me, let me see if I can find a good one. Are you gay test? Are you on the top of the rainbow council of gay Europe? What the fuck are these, man? <laughs> can we guess your sexuality oh. quiz? Ditch the label. Isn't there like a scientifically, like a scientific, like spectrum based, you know, cause I, I believe sexuality is a spectrum. Right? Isn't there like some psychological test that you could take? The gay, <laughs> the gay Senate will see you now. Oh, Kinsley? Is that it? Are you gay test Kinsley? Prevalence of homosexuality study, Kinsley Institute. Oh, cool. Kinsley scale test, IDR labs. Oh, is this it? To whom are you attracted? Mostly people of opposite sex are from mine. Mostly people of the same sex as mine. Only people of the opposite opposite sex of mine only people of the same sex as mine uh mostly people of the opposite sex of mine i would say this is true who have you had sex with both men and women both men and women only people of the opposite sex from mine that is true only people of the same sex I've only had sex so far as far as i know as far as i know who have you had sexual fantasies about mostly people of the opposite sex mostly people of the same sex uh only people of the opposite sex from mine where's none of the above <laughs> yeah that's not a fair question right that's not fair. Mostly people the opposite sex from mine. Yeah, that's fair. With whom do you form strong emotional bonds? What? That That's stupid. Both men and women. I don't give a shit. Emotional bonds? Brother. Who do you feel most comfortable with? What? Both. I don't give a shit. The idea of having sex with someone of the opposite sex from mine is chill. The idea of having sex with someone of the same sex of mine is negative, tolerable, disgusting. I just, I don't know. I don't have the urge to do it. I I, I don't know what word that would be. I don't have like the inclination to, to, to do it. Disgusting? I guess negative, tolerable. If I put tolerable, I'm going to to get i'm gonna get hit with fucking 30 percent again i'm gonna get fucked man no urge is negative okay i'd go negative i guess that makes you a heterosexual with incidental homosexual tendencies what does that mean <laughs> I'm a stage one gay man. Incidental homosexual. Is that, that's not something I can identify as, right? I'm an incidental homosexual. Stage one. Is this, is this like the most scientific scale? The, the, the Kinsey scale? The graphic is hilarious. Yeah, the graphic is pretty good, man. <laughs> I'm, this is me, dude. I'm just like, <laughs> I'm just like fucking, uh, where is it? Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gay, guys. I'm not fucking gay. You can call me, uh, 18%. Oh, would this be 18%? Is that what it works out to? You can call me, uh, old Uncle Ethel. Your incidental homosexual uncle. A1 is, in fact, not even close to gay. Yeah. I mean, I, I kind of already knew this, man. I, I don't really identify as, as bisexual. Not, I, I'm more just, like, I don't know. I, I, I can, like, admire. I can admire others, other people's beauty or whatever. Uh, no matter what gender they are, it doesn't really matter. But as far as, like, actual fantasies and stuff like that, I, I've, I, I think I'm pretty straight in that regard. But I'm not, I'm not weird weirded out by any of it by curious at best yeah i guess i just don't have the urge uh to like uh act on you know if i see like a, an attractive guy i like looking at them because uh, i think they like look good but i don't ever have the desire or like urge to go anything further than that other than just being their friend i guess yeah I think I'm pretty straight, to be honest. I don't know. I'm pretty comfortable with anything, but I just act on whatever my urges are. You know, I listen. I wish I, w I wish I was sitting in in three or four. My my batting average would be insane if I was sitting around three or four. Listen, man, I'd be a psychopath, man. I, I would never would have graduated college. I'll tell you that much right now. Double the options. Yeah, I, I wouldn't have. I would I would have had the worst goddamn grades at my school, man. Ethel sexuality is known as base due to his base take on sexuality. Yeah, I, I've always been open, man. I think having a gay older brother has helped me a lot. Like just being open to the idea of of love and and sex sexuality as a spectrum um and to accept wherever you are on the spectrum uh and wherever wherever anybody else may be uh it's not a big deal i literally don't care i literally don't care man as long as you're not hurting anyone i don't give a shit man it's all good baby it's all fucking good <laughs>